A welfare check at a camper in Detroit sends two parents to jail, and now both are charged with child abuse. Detroit police say they found deplorable living conditions in that camper. That was a week ago, but as investigators looked further into this case, there was cause to arrest the parents for child abuse. Today, the mother went before a judge. Local 4's Rod Maloney has the new developments in this troubling case. Okay, now what's your name? Gwendolyn Alexander. 29 year old Gwendolyn Josephine Alexander of Detroit went before a judge today. Her attorney told the judge, on top of having three children under the age of seven, Alexander is pregnant. She also cares for her parents, so she needs to be out on bond. She's charged first with torture, then two counts of second degree child abuse, two counts of third degree child abuse, allegedly for beating her six year old son in front of another of her children, along with her fiance. The judge's first concern was where the children are. Alexander said they're with her sister. The family lived in this camper on Berkshire Street with a tent style canopy over the front door. When Detroit police made the arrest, a family member seemed baffled. For you to just come by with no reason at all mm -hmm. and snatch some kids out and make it seem like we're doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, it just doesn't, it doesn't make any sense to me. But Detroit police were deeply concerned about several things. First, the rifle the family kept inside, the living conditions in general, apparent child neglect, and lastly, the stern physical discipline the parents allegedly favored. The arraignment judge entered a not guilty plea for Alexander, gave her a $50,000 bond with a 10% surety, and then ordered Alexander not to have any contact with her children or her sister caring for them. As of tonight, both Alexander and her fiance say remain in jail. They have not been able to make their bond. Now, her fiance is Robert Scott is the name that he's going by, at least right now. But it's really Aaron Scott, and uh, he has a $75,000 cash bond that was given to him yesterday by the judge who arraigned him then. So he again remains behind bars along with Alexander. They will both have preliminary exams later on in February. It's likely there we will learn more and uh, get better information about what precisely was going on inside that trailer. Reporting live downtown, Rod Maloney, Local 4. All right, Rod, thanks.